Today's video is sponsored by Bespoke Airsoft. Hold on. I'm sure we've already done this. Well, actually, no. Ever fancied yourself a John Wick 3 combat master, but thought the price was a bit pricey? Well, this is the Jag Precision Turan Tactical Innovations licensed John Wick 3 Combat Master. OEM'd by Army Armament. Haha, <laughs> now come on now, wait. Before you write this bad boy off, Army Armament has turned a corner as far as I'm concerned because I've seen a couple of reviews on this already. I've done my research and boy, you cannot put this in the same category as some of their former airsoft pistols. Let's get this bad boy open and naturally, I'm going to compare it with that bad boy. But first things first, huge thank you to Bespoke Airsoft for coming on board to be yet another new sponsor for the channel. Okay, so a quick look on the box. As you can see there, very plain black, straight to the point box. And then on the side here, it gives you all the information of who or what company is involved in producing this. Now, I'm particularly excited about this one because as much as I love that bad boy over there from EMG, if you're on a tighter budget and you want yourself one of those John Wick Combat Master pistols, this could be for you. So those of you familiar with Army Armament know that this is how they do their model numbers. So this will be the R601 or R601 for this uh, Combat Master. Okay, so first thing we're greeted with is a huge instruction manual. Now when I say huge, it's not thick, but it's got a nice sort of A5 size to it. Nice image of the pistol on the front. Yeah, pretty much shows you everything you need to know. Let me get the magazine out and I'm quite interested in comparing the two mags. Now straight away I'm seeing a huge difference between this and the other version of the John Wick pistol. And now we come to the pistol itself. Oh yes, this looks legit and I'm loving that outer barrel. Wait, oh my gosh, I've just noticed something. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, this is my own personalized combat master. Would you look at that serial number? A.M. Come on. A.M. All right, I've just calmed down. That's just a little something for me, yeah? Okay, obviously yours won't say that. Anyway, would you look at this bad boy? First thing I'm going to do, let's just complete that picture. This looks every bit as authentic as the other one I did, which we're going to compare it with a little later. So let me just take you around this first. First thing, and there's a reason why I'm wearing these Armoured Claw gloves fingerless, because I really needed to get my hands all over this piece, because I've been reading and hearing that the stippling on this version by Jag Precision is more aggressive, more grippy than the EMG version. And I can confirm. And that leads me nicely into telling you why, because hand stippled. This isn't molded, this isn't pre-done at the factory, this is hand stippled at the factory. And then we move along to the base of the mag. I can see a huge difference between this and the other version. And right there you can see your fill valve and the Terran Tactical logo. A bit off-centered, I might add. And then as we move up on the grip, you've got your, as I've mentioned before, your grip safety, fully functioning too. Because sometimes you can buy airsoft pistols where all of this is just for show, but this actually works. And then of course, you have your thumb safety, both sides, the famous beaver tail. Nice beaver. Your skeletonized hammer, 
your fully adjustable rear sight complemented nicely by the front red fiber optic sight. Now, again, I can see a difference between this version and the EMG one, but that's coming up in a moment where I will physically hold them together. So as we move along, you've got your mag release. Again, I can see another difference, but it is enhanced, extended, if you like. Then you have your skeletonized trigger. And by the way, just in case you didn't know, everything here, full metal, apart from the wrap around the grip. And there you have your slide catch and release, your nice long lower rail. I'll pop something on there in a minute. And again, let me get to that outer barrel. Loving how they've made this more of a rose gold to make it match a bit more closer to the original. Might as well show you right there, you've got your mock ejection port. Mm, seems to be a little bit of a scratch there, but hey, that doesn't take anything away from this bad boy. So let me take you to the front of your outer barrel. Awesome looking piece. Let's take you through those trades and the thing that's made me very excitable. Anyway, there you go. Combat Master, your Terran Tactical logo right there. You've got your markings on the outer barrel. And then of course, my very own little serial number. <laughs> and then on the site itself, uh, you have your instructions there to adjust it for windage and elevation. Although on the real one, there is some more sort of trades on the site itself. Let's pop you around to the other side where you have your official Terran Tactical Innovations Trades. And then there, look, on the top of the slide, another Terran Tactical logo. Look at that serial number. <laughs> Sorry, I've shown you that already. Anyway, yes, and I've also shown you the bad boy on the base. How low can you go? Let's compare this with the more expensive counterpart. Right, so here we go, people. First thing I want to show you is that the magazine seems to be longer or more extended on the EMG version. And then as we move down to the Magwell area, on the EMG, it appears to be a bit more of a sheen, more of a gunmetal colour on the Magwell compared to the Jag Precision. Now, as we take a closer look at the finish on the EMG one in terms of the trades and the serial number, I've come to realize now, obviously I spotted this when I did the EMG one, that serial number right down there at the bottom is basically, right above the trigger there, look, is basically an EMG generated serial number because you've got the letters EMG. But then look, you've also got the STI logo, which is of course a representation in the shape of Texas. Now, as much as I love the attention to detail there and the fact that they've got that STI logo right there, move it along to the Jag Precision, no map, but come on, how am I not gonna love that? AM, airsoft mic, come on! <laughs> but in terms of the actual rose gold effect on the barrel, it seems to be a little bit more prominent on the Jag Precision one. And just in case you're thinking, is that because of how the light is being casted over these guns? You can see a back shadow there, so you can tell, if you're into this sort of technical stuff, that the lighting is over on that side. So let me just make it a little bit more equal. There you go, again, the Jag Precision one, the barrel is a bit more rosy gold. And of course, as mentioned before, the stippling on the Jag Precision one, in my opinion, is way better. Oh, dual wielding these bad boys makes me feel super bad. <laughs> Sorry, cringe. Anyway, now taking a look at both of these bad boys at the front, you can see that the EMG has a threaded barrel, whereas the Jag Precision doesn't. And then when you look at the serrations on the Jag Precision one, you can see that the raised enhanced 
parts of the serrations pretty much the same as the lower in terms of the finish. There may be just a slight sheen to them, but on the EMG, it's pretty obvious that the raised sections right there, as you can see, as the light shines against it, is more of a gloss. And if you take a closer look at the hammers, you can see that the Jag Precision one, this one here with your red fiber optic sight, you can see that the hammer, the skeletonized portion of it, is a little bit wider than the EMG. And then if you take a closer look at the beaver tails on both, you can see that the Jag Precision one right here is much more enhanced, longer. Now in terms of the mag release, you can see on the uh, EMG one here, it's a lot longer than the Jag Precision. Now to some, that's too long, sticks out too much. Whereas the Jag Precision one, just right. And here, look, something else I noticed whilst editing this video, you've got those serrations or that grippy section on the grip safety on the Jag Precision that you don't have on the EMG. But going back to the mag release, something I didn't show you in the original EMG video, the extension can be removed on the EMG to make it more or less the same size as the Jag Precision. And then here we have the, and no, it's not pointing at my face. I've actually got the barrels pointed away from my face. Look, the lower rails, Jag Precision, EMG. And then we have the top of the slides. Look at the logo there. And I suppose at this angle too, you can appreciate the Jag Precision coloring of the barrel compared to the EMG coloring of the barrel. Without being biased, I will tell you right now that the Jag Precision in my eyes is better. But in terms of the logo on the top, I think I prefer the EMG. Oh, I'm not supposed to give my opinion. <laughs> and now check out the caliber markings on the barrel. And then finally, let's get to the mag bases of both. Jag Precision, EMG. It's quite obvious which one goes into more detail. EMG, Jag Precision, you can see the difference in the thickness of the magazine base plate. Right, so let's have a look at the internals and see what the differences are between the EMG and this Jag Precision. So here you go, these are the internals of the Jag Precision. And there's your hop-up adjustment wheel right there. And then you've got your spring and your guide rod. Looks pretty decent, very streamlined. Let's have a look at the EMG one and uh, compare the two. So at first glance, you can see, apart from the obvious with the color differences, they are pretty much identical. Now, of course, the EMG one has those red internals and that grayish silver guide rod with that spring. But if you look at the Jag Precision one with the black nozzle and black hop-up unit and everything, look at the guide rod and its spring. You can see a section of the spring which is tighter. That leads me to believe this would give a nice kick when firing. Okay, let's get these bad boys weighed. This is the Jag Precision one. Let's see what this one comes in at. The mag is in there. There you go, so that comes in at a respectable 1092 grams. Right, let's weigh the EMG one. Again, with the mag in. 1072. So, so far the Jag Precision one comes in a little bit heavier. So we go back to the Jag Precision one without the mag. 672 grams for the Jag Precision. Let's just move straight on to the EMG one. I've got a feeling it's slightly heavier. Yeah, there you go. 732 grams for the EMG one without the mag. 
Okay, now I know what you're thinking. Will the EMG Mag fit in the Jag Precision Combat Master? Well, EMG Mag. Yes. But will it fire? Yes. But what about the other way around? EMG Combat Master, Jag Precision Mag, fits. Now, did you notice what happens when I racked the slide on the other one, when I did it the other way around? It cycled fine, even though there was no BBs in there. But technically, that slide should have locked back because there was no rounds in the pistol. So yes, it fires, but you won't get a slide locked back if you do the Jag Precision Combat Master with the EMG Mag. So, EMG Combat Master, Jag Precision Mag, Ah, it locks back, which it should do, because there's no rounds. So technically, yes, they are interchangeable, and if I release that, I should still be able to fire. Nice. 362, 355.7, 348.1, 344.5, 344.5 again, nice. 340.9, 337.4, last one, 336. That is pretty decent and powerful. So the chrono test that you're seeing now on your screen was for the EMG Combat Master. That was filmed in August. We were still in summer and it was very humid. And as you know, gas blowbacks are affected by the environment, the heat, the coldness. So the warmer it is, the hotter it will shoot, literally. So now we're in the winter. As you can see, the EMG was shooting slightly hotter than right now in the winter than what the Jag Precision is doing. So to weigh up and be fair, I would say both pretty much have the same FPS. Absolutely loving the feel of this Jag Precision John Wick 3 Combat Master. It's a solid piece and I am totally shocked that the OEM is Army Armament. I'm so used to their pistols being a bit shoddy, okay? This is a solid piece and the kick is pretty decent. Right, come on, let's do the accuracy test. Oh, come on, I'm loving the groupings that we achieved with this Jag Precision. I mean, just to give you an idea of what we're working with here, for those of you who have not seen me do an accuracy test before, this is a one pound coin, okay? A British one pound coin. Put it against the red portion of that target. You can see what I'm working with right there. Okay, I've got another full mag. Let me just show you this thing in action and I might just give you a little bit of slow-mo and I've not refilled it with gas yet. Nice. So there you go people, that is the Jag Precision Tehran Tactical Innovations fully licensed Combat Master. And I still can't believe this is OEM'd by Army Armament. This is a huge improvement to their previous pistols. It is every bit as solid as the EMG one. Now that's saying something. And by the way, 
I got a comfortable three mags worth of BBs fired from this thing. So you're looking at 90 rounds minimum before you have to start thinking about putting gas in again. So if you like what you see, hit the video description for a direct link. Thanks again to Bespoke Airsoft for sending this out to me. Do check out their website. They've got loads of other airsoft weapons, plus the alternative John Wick Combat Master. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time on the Airsoft Mike YouTube channel. And check me out on Instagram too.